Hello, in this video we are going to talk about the differences between binary and uh, mutex semaphores. Uh, in order to start our conversation we will start from the last point, from the last video that we left, which uh, used binary semaphore in order to uh, perform the following uh, from program. It starts. It started in main. I will show it. It started in main. Then, uh, uh, after definition of the binary semaphore, uh, then it performed the task. And only after the task given the permission and finished, the program main uh, printed end statement. We want to do the same thing with the mutex uh, semaphore. The basic difference between binary and mutex semaphore is that binary semaphore have no importance where it started from. It, ca it can morph from the task, like you see here. It, it can be in main. Whenever the, p the uh, uh, whenever, whenever it's given, give or take statement, the semaphore change binary semaphore changes its uh, status zero one zero one and so on. And here, when we created binary semaphore, it automatically performs a take operation, starts the performance, enters the task, and only after the task, change the binary semaphore by give statement to 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 another position. Then. Uh, Take 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 statement allows it to continue. Uh, basically speaking, creation of binary semaphore was take, and this take can go forward. We will do a small change. Be come instead of binary semaphore, we will uh, have a, a mutex semaphore. Let's run the program and see what's going on. Know that we have no change whatsoever for the previous programs except the definition of the semaphore. Okay. What we see what we see here is the main started and the program crashed, of course, but before it's crashed, we can see that the main program performed from the beginning till the end, and oft only after it, ta tasks were performed fully. So, uh, it's not exactly the result that we expected to have. In order to, to, to have the same result with mutex, we have to define pairs of take and give. For example, we'll have take this take statement and put it in the beginning of the task. And uh, just for clarity reasons, it don't have any actual meaning, but here we will put it in the end of the task. So the, the, the type of uh, behavior that we expect is creation of semaphore, taking the task, we starting the task here, ending the task here and deleting the task, and after it we are starting the uh, print statement and ending the print statement. We, let's run it and see what's going on. Fast forward, it will have a problem. Because note that take statement will work for mutex, whichever take it he, 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 expect, uh, he, he accept first. Here, in the run between two There's the execution. There's the current execution. We have the same result. 
So the question is why the task which is before the semaphore not entered this pair and this pair be, be performed the operation. The reason for this is that the co uh, the computer first reached this line and not this line. So when he reaches this line the semaphore was already taken. So first he performs this pair and only after after semaphore give, after the this pair is released he can perform another task. Um, to make a way out of this we can delay we can delay the performance of this pair of take and give by the delay statement and it ha will give enough time to enter this pair of statements let's see if it works we will run the program And now we have the expected result. First, we started the program. Then we first we start we started the program. Then we gave enough time to enter the task and to begin this pair of performance and did all this loop. And only after the release of the loop, uh, we printed the end statement. Here you could see the difference between mutex and binary semaphore and use both of them for re reaching the same result. Fast forward for different uh, tasks, different for different programs, different semaphores are preferred. In the future videos we will go and uh, examine in more depth the difference and in which case it's better to use which semaphore. Thank you.